Hello, 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 and welcome back to the Book of Unwritten Tales. My name is Lingbacher, and we are... Yeah, hi. Nice to see you too, elf. Elf, elven, yeah. Okay, anyway, so... We talked to this mummy last episode, and god, it was painful. But thankfully, we got the ruby. But... Let's just combine that with the stone. No, staff, sorry. Fits perfectly. Yeah, it does. And... You go downstairs, but uh, I still have a feeling I need to move a little bit with on this mirror shields or whatever it is. So if I just put this one down here, like this, and I have to do something with this. Hmm, there are strange marks on the figure's pedestal. Looks like the figure may have been turned. Ah, okay. I've got to try and turn it back to its original position. Yeah, we need to. So, how do we do that? Just click on it. A little bit more. Can I do a little bit more? There we go. Okay. Excellent. Hopefully, we'll never need to talk to that mummy again. Ever. Let's just take the book. Or read it. Hmm, this must be the secret book. Oh, it's been written by hand and there are several pictures. There are a few words written in orange ink. That doesn't exist, does it? The artifact of divine fate. This is serious. I should get this book to the Archmage as quick as I can. As long as I don't bump into the sorcerer or his troll, I should manage to make Seastone by midday tomorrow. Hm, shouldn't be a problem. So the elf... Uh oh. Yeah, that was a trap. Of course. A weight trap. Ah! Ah! What? What? <laughs> what? Was it just a pedal? Pebble? Pebble? Pedal? Pe pedal? Yeah. Okay. So, the elf and the gnome is going to meet together soon ish, I guess. So we into chapter two. Oh my. How did he survive that? He was shot th through uh, with a cannon. And he walks just fine. Why are you staring like that? Never seen a town guard before? No. You... You're a human, aren't you? Me? Yes, uh... You could say that. Never been anything else. <laughs> wow. <laughs> My name is Bartholomew Anton Shieldhand. Royal town guard of Seastone. And who are you? Um... Uh, sure. Weathervane. Wilbur Weathervane from the White Ridge Mountains on a secret mission. Weathervane? Hmm, okay then. Where... where am I? This lovely seaside resort. Residence of the Archmage and home of the Sea Shanty Singers is Seastone. Seastone? Then I made it! Absolutely, I'd say. And here's me thinking that the orcs were firing grunts at our walls again. <laughs> I have to see the Archmage. It's urgent. Is that something? <laughs> then I wish you the best of luck. The guard at the upper gate follows very strict procedures. He won't let you through to the Archmage that easily. Well, uh, the, 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 the orcs shooting grunts at the walls again. It's not like a warhammer or something. Like goblins. Oh well. Uh, I might as well just ask if the Archmage is in town. Is the Archmage even in his tower at the moment? Oh, I'm not allowed to give out any information on that subject. Those are the regulations. Can you tell me anything about the Archmage? Do you know him personally? Of course I know him. The Seastone Town Guard is also responsible for protecting the Archmage. Why does he need protection if he's as powerful as everyone says? Well, he's not uh, exactly the greatest of warriors. No? No. He's, uh, more strange. He thinks about stuff, you know. Strange? Why does he do that? Who knows? Who knows? 
So, okay, well, might as well just ask if that's Upper Town is where the Archmage Tower is. What do you mean by Upper Town? Well, the town's divided into the Upper Town and the Lower Town. The Archmage's Tower is, of course, in the Upper Town. And what's in the Lower Town? Taverns, shops, the common people's dwellings. Well, at least they used to live there. Not anymore. Where are they? Where are the town's inhabitants? Gone. Lots of them died when the town was besieged, and most of the survivors then went off with Gustav the Handsome to take revenge. That was rather... less than successful. Oh my. And how many people are still living here? Not so many anymore. If the Archmage hadn't had his tower here, the town would have probably been abandoned. Sounds pretty sad. But things will get better. Wait until we win the war and everyone comes back. Well, those that are still alive. Yeah, why are you guarding a town with just almost nobody living? But if almost no one lives here, who are you guarding? Oh, I'm not guarding the inhabitants, I'm guarding the town. I'm guarding it like my father did before me and his father before him. Yeah. But not his father, he was a blacksmith. But his brother-in-law was a town guard, <laughs> and his father was a baker. Oh god. Interesting. I have to go. I'll get in to see the Archmage one way or another. Well, I never. I have to get back to my post too. My break's over. So, Wilbur Weathervane from the White Ridge Mountains. Best of luck on your adventure. No doubt we'll bump into each other again. Thanks, Mr. Shieldhand. See you later. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Look at the rabbit! Click at it. Oh, fluffy wuffy little bunny rabbit. All white and soft and gentle and sweet. And I just want to cuddle it and... Oh, I'm an adventurer now. I must act like one. <laughs> it, it's a rabbit. A white one. Dear <laughs> rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. Not a chance. It won't let itself be caught that easily. And besides, I wouldn't know what to do with the rabbit anyway. I mean, except just love it a bit. <laughs> okay, so where do I want to go? Yeah, I might as well just look at the sign to see. It says the meadows. No idea where that's supposed to be. Then go to the meadows. Swamp of death. I don't think so. Doesn't sound particularly healthy to me. <laughs> I didn't sound that inviting. No, I didn't. Is that a... That really looks like a visual bug of some sort. Oh well. Uh, look at the sign over here. Oh! Swamp of... Okay, so one way is Swamp of Death, another is the meadows. Okay. Let's just examine the... Uh, there have been some now. heavy battles fought around Seastone in the last few years. It looks like the town definitely sustained some damage. Yeah, you can see a catapult ball there, and, well, there's a bump there, and, well, they can repair this sooner or later, I guess. I don't think anyone in my family has ever set foot in a human town before, not even Grandad. Uh, okay. Market stall. A pretty shabby stall. Doesn't look like anything's been sold here recently. Oh, okay, so this is leaving the town, and this is a wizard place. Um, enter the tavern. No, we're just gonna keep on examining. Some boxes and cartons, they're all empty. It's just wizards. There are two signs on the door. One says, Master Marcus's Magic Mage School. The other says, Back soon. Both signs are covered in cobwebs. They must have been hanging there for days or even weeks. Okay, then, so. Can I go in? No one home. Uh, the the, no, the, the door in? is locked. Oh, okay. So it's locked. Uh, might as well just go into the tavern and see if there's something interesting. You hear a lot of bad things about rundown taverns. On the other hand, they're often the starting point of many a fantastic adventure. And to be perfectly honest, I haven't had enough of those yet. Yeah, that's a fair point. What? Have you got Form 12B for me? 
Oh, the blue one. No, it's just a green one. Hurry up. The post office is about to close for lunch. You're going to the post office? Oh, I'll come with you. I need a delivery note, and I want to send off a registered letter. What? What? What are you doing? What do you think? You can see what we're doing. We're playing. <laughs> oh, damn, I've forgotten my ID card. You can have a copy of your passport certified by a solicitor. Hang on, I'll mark the solicitor for you on the map. <laughs> what, are, what are you playing? The only true kind of game, a role-playing game. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, so in this world, in the fantasy world, they are playing a fantasy game, which is all real life. Life, so... Wow. And what is this role-playing game all about? It's set in a fantasy world. Totally without dragons, orcs, and magic. But instead... Oh! Here, here, here! Come over here! I found the tax inspector! Wait for me! I'll be there in a sec! <laughs> Once I've got this stamp, I can finally conclude the fiscal year! You know what that means? Tax, tax office! office. <laughs> what? And... And you really enjoy playing the game? Of course! Certainly. You can escape the tedium of reality with all its magic and monsters. And you meet new people. It's not only us who play this game. It's played all over the world. There are six people currently online. <laughs> well, four if you don't include us. But one's just gone off to the toilet. <laughs> so it's an MMORPG. And and when when is the game over? When When have you won? One. There is no winner. Just like in real life. The game has no end. You just keep on playing and... Oh! Oh! A traffic warden's wanting to write me a ticket! Leave her! Leave her! That's a hard quest series. You can try to lodge a written appeal and then you have to... Oh. So the game never ends? <laughs> Great. Wow. <laughs> That's a new perspective. Might I ask you who you both are? Of course. I'm Jack Smith, level 42 consultant at a medium-sized cooperative bank. <laughs> but I want to retrain as a tax consultant with specialization in tax-effective investments. They have really fabulous skill trees. And I'm Mary Ellen Skittles, level 40, local government officer. My bicycle's got a three-speed gear. I've not the slightest idea what those two are talking about. Maybe it's a role-player thing. <laughs> Oh. I'd like to know who you are in real life. I meant, who are you two in real life? Oh, right. I used to be a successful merchant. I had a shop here in town and lots of market stalls. Now all I own is that knackered old stall outside the door there. No customers, no business. Then maybe I could buy something Wait, from you. Is that a... Yeah, yeah, great. Why, um... Oh. Whatever. And who are you? I'm Master Marcus, the local mage teacher. You're the mage teacher? Could you maybe... Shh! The game started. <laughs> so this is uh, not a centaur, it's a... Ah, oh, the gold man. Uh, so it's, oh god, I can't remember the name. And this device, what does it do? What indeed! We type in our input and the machine shows us what everyone else is doing. It saves our equipment and controls the characters that aren't being controlled by other players. And how does it work? No idea. That thing is linked to a server somehow and that takes care of running it. Then best of luck in... wherever. Hmm. Hmm. Thanks for nothing. You know, that's about the silliest game I've ever heard of. Why would anyone flee from their own world into a fantasy world in order to complete meaningless tasks? Are you actually asking me now? Because I have a really good answer to that, but I won't. Wait. Does it say server room? A door bearing a sign that says server's room, no entry. It in. says no entry. Now, just because I'm in a big town doesn't mean I'm going to turn into a criminal. Yeah, but, but we need to go in there. It says... Oh, okay, well. Uh... Just let's keep on looking at this one. 
These two use the same machine to play their strange role-playing game. My family would just love this. Is there anything else you guys can tell me? They're still involved in the game and I don't really know what I should ask them. Yeah, fair point. Is there anything else? Oh, there's lots of things there. Box. A wooden box full of tools, including, amongst other things, a saw. <laughs> Take it? Yeah, yes, please. Of course, the saw doesn't meet the norm tool safety regulations and it's a tad rusty. Still, I think it's usable. Yeah, it's alright. Splendid two pointer. Perhaps the inn gets its name from the boar's head. Maybe. The shelves are full of dusty bottles and tankards. Some are still half full. Perhaps the owners are to leave town in a hurry. From butter beer to pumpkin juice to fire whiskey. It's all here, but I don't need any of that. Mum bottles apple sauce in jars like that back home. I was ah smaller though. Because you're a gnome. Is that it? Does it really matter uh, the container and the size of what you are? Oh. Anything else? Uh, I can't probably can't ask them anymore. They're still involved in the game, and I don't really know what I should ask them. Oh, okay, so I'll just go outside and see. So my main objective here now, as I understand, I need to get get to the upper town and talk to the guys. Well, talk to the mage. And the mage school, well, um, the professor is in there, or the teacher, if you call him. The cart is pretty overgrown. It obviously hasn't been moved in months. So uh, let's just try to go to the upper town and see what else we can get. Halt! Access only for authorised persons. Shield hand, are you the guard of the upper gate? Dead right. And you don't have access to the upper town. Um, uh, as I already mentioned to you at the outer gate, I must speak to the archmage. It's urgent. And as I've already mentioned to you, the guard at the upper gate follows very strict procedures. But why didn't you say you were the guard? Well, I wasn't on duty. And you shouldn't mix business with pleasure. Yeah, anyway, point. it's much funnier this way. <laughs> hmm, I wouldn't be so sure about that. Yeah, how do I get in? There has to be a way to get to see the Archmage. What would I have to do? Only people with personal invitations from the Archmage himself are allowed in. Do you have an invitation? Yes? Of course. And? Where is it? The invisible it's invitation. A, ooh, it's an invisible invitation. An invisible invitation? Really? Yes, from the um, Unseen University. Never heard of it. So, where's the invitation? You don't need to see my invitation? Is that like Star Wars or something? You don't need to see my yeah. invitation. <laughs> I certainly do. <laughs> you don't need to see my invitation. <laughs> you really believe that'll work? It was worth a try, wasn't it? Not really. <laughs> so, where's the invitation? Okay, my dog has eaten my, it. Uh, oh, oh, my dog ate it. I have no time for this. So, where's the invitation? No, unfortunately not. Well, there you go. Without an invitation, there's no way you'll ever be admitted to see the Archmage. But you could be admitted, of course. <laughs> if you were a mage yourself. Mages are allowed to speak with the Archmage? Naturally. He's the head of the Order, after all. You know any mages by any chance? Well, I'd, I'd like to be one myself. <laughs> and I'd like to be a dewdrop on a wood elf's butt cheek. <laughs> really? Why? <laughs> well, I... <laughs> Look. Only uh, mages or people with invitations can get into the tower. Yeah, so I need to sort of get to know a mage. So I'd be able to see the archmage if I was accompanied by a mage? No, the mage would be allowed up, not you. But you could, say, give a message to the mage. But I must speak to the archmage himself, and I have to give him something. Well then, you must be a mage yourself. <laughs> How do you recognize mages? How do you okay. know whether someone is a mage or not? Their magical aura? Or by the charisma and wisdom they radiate? <laughs> by their mage diploma. Huh? 
Every trained mage has a mage diploma. They can show it to me here, and then I let them into the upper town. So that means if I show you a mage diploma, I can see the archmage? Well, show me an honestly acquired mage's diploma, made out in your name, and I'll take you to the archmage myself. If there's no other way, then I'll just end up being the first magician in the Weathervane family. <laughs> Good luck. You'll find the mage teacher in the tavern. Just see what he thinks of the idea. <laughs> well, he's really mocking me. How... Okay, I can might as well just ask him, uh, how do you become a qualified mage? How can I become an accredited mage, then? You? Not at all. <laughs> <sighs> And how do others do it? Well, there are mage schools. There's one just down the street, Master Marcus's magical mage school. But Master Marcus shut up shop weeks ago. Now he spends the whole day sitting in the tavern playing some kind of role-play game. I'm going to get my mage diploma. Just you wait and see. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> oh, man. There's no way I can do a full course of mage training just to get into the Archmage's Tower. Maybe the mage teacher will lend me a diploma, and once I've given up the ring, well, maybe I could really take a stab at it. Yeah. And no mage sounds always good. Actually, uh, on my the, in vanilla World of Warcraft, and my one of the best mages on my server was uh, no mage. Oh, should work. Excuse me. Mm hmm? Hmm? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna uh, happen, but we'll try to ask anyway. Master Marcus, I need, uh... Shh, shh, I'm playing. Yes, but I urgently need, uh... Later! But without a mage diploma, I can't... Listen, I really haven't got time right now. My character's tax return is due. I've been playing towards it for days. Not a okay. prayer. I'm not going to get a blessed thing from Master Marcus as long as that game is running. So, I need to get into the server room somehow. But I need to distract these guys, I guess. So we'll see what happens in the next episode, because I can see the time is up. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I... Yeah, Pokey knows. Yeah, that's good. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.